Hello everyone. In this video we're going to talk about the difference between collision domains and broadcast domains. So let's first talk about collision domains. Now a collision domain is part of a network where data packets can collide with each other. Now this happens when devices on the same network send data at the same time which results in a collision. And when a collision happens it slows down a network because the devices now have to wait a random amount of time to resend their data. Collisions happen on networks where hubs are being used. And this is for a couple of different reasons. And the first reason is because every port on a hub makes up one big collision domain. So these four computers connected to this hub are in the same collision domain. And the second reason is because hubs are half duplex meaning they can only communicate in one direction at a time. So for example, when a computer connected to this hub sends data, the hub will forward the data out to all of its ports, which means that every other computer connected to this hub will receive the data regardless if it was meant for them or not. So as you can imagine, the more devices that you have connected to a hub, which creates one large collision domain, the more likely collisions will occur. So this is why collisions happen in a hub environment. But instead of having one big collision domain, what if we can reduce the chance of having collisions by breaking it down into smaller collision domains? So this is why switches were created. Now switches are a lot better than hubs. Switches will not forward the data out to all of its ports. It will only forward data to the intended destination port. So each port on this switch is its own collision domain. So instead of having one big collision domain in a hub environment, the switch will have four smaller collision domains, which decreases or even eliminates the chance of any collisions. And switches are also full duplex, which means they can communicate in both directions at the same time. Hey guys, before I continue, I want to tell you about my sponsor for this video, which is Combo Cleaner. Now, as you know, the internet can leave you vulnerable to cyber attacks. And internet-based crime is one of the fastest growing security threats in the world today. That's why I want to tell you about Combo Cleaner. Combo Cleaner is a real-time anti-malware software application that protects you against harmful software such as malware, adware, spyware, and the ever-dreaded ransomware. Now I don't know about you, but I know a lot of people who have been affected by ransomware and it basically renders all of your personal files such as documents and photos totally useless. And Combo Cleaner protects you in real time and allows you to specify folders to keep them from being affected from ransomware. And in addition to real time protection, Combo Cleaner will also help you free up disk space by finding big and duplicate files that could be taking up valuable storage space on your device. Combo Cleaner is available for all of your devices, including Android, Mac, Windows, and iPhone. And right now they are offering an 80% discount up until the end of February. So just go to the video description and click the link to Combo Cleaner and use my promo code POWERCERT80 to get your 80% discount. Now a broadcast domain is part of a network where devices can receive a broadcast from other devices on the same network. So what is a broadcast? Well, whenever a device wants to communicate with another device on a network, it first sends out a broadcast and all the devices on the same network will receive the broadcast. And the reason for the broadcast is so a device can locate the specific device that it wants to communicate with. And whether the devices are connected to a hub or a switch, it makes no difference, because both hubs and switches will forward broadcasts. So in this example, we have a local area network, and we have four computers connected to a hub, and we have four computers connected to a switch and the hub and switch are connected to each other. So this network is one large broadcast domain. Every computer on this network can receive broadcasts from every other computer. Because as I stated before, hubs and switches were always forward broadcasts. But what if the network administrator wanted to separate this broadcast domain into two separate broadcast domains? And the way this is done is by adding a router to this network. So by placing a router, for example, in between the hub and the switch, this will divide the broadcast domain into two separate broadcast domains. 
because broadcast cannot go past a router. The router would not let that happen. So just to be clear, hubs and switches will forward broadcasts, but routers will block broadcasts. So some of you might be wondering, well, what would be the purpose of creating more broadcast domains? Well, having one broadcast domain on a small network like this wouldn't be a problem. However, if this network were to expand into a larger network by adding a lot more computers like we see here, each one of those computers are going to be broadcasting and receiving broadcasts from every other computer on the network. And when this happens, it would be chaos because it would slow down the network because of the tremendous amount of broadcast traffic. And then you're going to have computers complaining and fighting with each other. And then you're going to have fires breaking out. Well, not really, but you do get the point. The point is that bandwidth will suffer. But the way to fix this problem is by creating smaller broadcast domains. And this is done by adding routers. So we'll go ahead and strategically place three routers on this network. And by doing so, we have created four smaller broadcast domains. So now each computer can only receive broadcasts in their own broadcast domain. Because again, routers will not let broadcasts go past them. So guys, I want to thank you for watching this video on the difference between collision domains and broadcast domains. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next video.